Infoblox is the industry leader in DNS, DHCP, and IP address management services. I'm here today to talk to you about the integration that we have with uh, Cisco's DNA Center. The primary use cases for our integration uh, between, with, between uh, Infoblox IPAM and the DNA Center is to synchronize the IP pools. That's a bi-directional synchronization. And the advantage of that is that the uh, subnets that are deployed on the network actually uh, match up with your network services database of record. Here's a demonstration of the integration between the Infoblox IPAM and Cisco's DNA Center. So we start off here in the DNA Center uh, three, System 360 overview section, and we're going to configure, go to configure settings. And within this area, you can configure an IP address manager. And that IP address manager link can be made out to the Infoblox uh, IP address management system. So you provide your IP address of that system, you provide the credentials, you select that it's an Infoblox connector or profile, you choose the network view within Infoblox that you want to uh, connect with. Once apply is selected, you can then go over to um, settings, right? And now you can configure your IP address pools. Again, we're still in the DNA Center user interface. Under IP address pools, you can click add IP pool here and you're presented with options to provide a name for the pool, a subnet up for the pool, the CIDR prefix, right? Now, the, the name of this pool is gonna be, or the number of this pool is 10.0.0.1. We go over to the Infoblox user interface and go to the Data Management IPAM tab. You can see here that that, that uh, container, or that subnet does not exist yet. Back in the DNA Center user interface, I can select Save, and a IP address pool in the DNA Center has been created. This is a listing of all the IP address pools that are created. Notice now it's viewable in the DNA Center. If I go over to Infoblox IPAM, I can see here as well that that uh, IP pool has been created. So this is the two-way synchronization we're talking about. Now, back in the DNA Center, practical application of that is I go out to one of my locations, in this case it's called San Jose, and within that location, I'm going to add an IP pool. It's coming out of that IP address pool that we just created. So again, what I'm doing is I'm providing a name. In this case, it's the San Jose LAN pool. I'm choosing a type, which is LAN. I'm choosing an IP pool, which is the one I just created a minute ago. I'm carving out a slash 24 out of that pool. And now I'm going to reserve. So this uh, slash 24 has now been reserved in San Jose, all using the DNA Center user interface. If I go back to my Infoblox IPAM and I go into my 10.0.0.1 container, I now can see that that subnet has been created in Infoblox as well. Now, another thing I want to point out is that uh, with this integration, you can import existing IP pools from Infoblox into DNA Center. So this is an example where we have the Infoblox uh, subnet here, or I should say it's a container, 10.0.0.08. I can come back to DNA Center Again, and I can click into the IP pools and there's an option to import. So now I'm going to import that pool, 10.0.0.0.8, import, and now I have that import into my DNA center. I can then edit that to give it an actual name. In this case, we're calling it uh, DNAC Management Pool. It's displaying the subnet. It's displaying the IP gateway. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now back to our use case again, we're going to return out to our location, which is San, uh, San Jose. And San Jose, I'm now going to reserve another IP pool. Only this time we're going to pull that IP pool from the subnet or IP pool that we just pulled in from Infoblox IPAM. Again, I am now carving out a slash 24 out of that subnet that we just imported from Infoblox. Okay, here it is displayed in the DNA Center UI. And then likewise, if I go back out to Infoblox, drill into that container, I can see that that subnet is also in the Infoblox IPAM. And from that point on out, you can use the IP addresses to do provisioning in the DNA Center, and everything will stay synchronized between your IP address management tool and your DNA Center. So thanks for watching the, uh, the demo. Please visit Cisco DNA Center Ecosystem Exchange to find out more about our solutions or contact us.